What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 Arkansas State Red Wolves Dynasty and today your foreigner Arkansas State Red Wolves are on the road taking on the Georgia Southern Eagles and they're 1-4, they're not very good but if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel at all hit that subscribe button down below and a little note on the Georgia Southern roster uh, they do have the real life roster with like Jarek McKinnon and all them uh, back in the 2013-2014 season uh, so don't mind that well do mind it a little but um, nothing like you guys shouldn't be overly concerned about it I mean it's just you know one or two years that you're gonna have to deal with them this is going to be a, a more permanent thing on the channel too so um, I'm trying to try and build another dynasty up I know you guys have been wanting another dynasty so I threw this one out there for you guys and you guys seem to like it a lot so I mean Hey, you guys are continuing to support, and I'll keep making them. That's how it works on this channel. You you guys drive my channel to what you guys want to see, and you guys have clearly shown that you guys love this dynasty. You guys love my Madden series. You guys love the UAB series. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue doing them. So it's, it's all driven by you guys, and you guys got to make it all possible. So hey, you know, I, I'm I'm on I'm on your guys' side. So let me know. You know. Obviously, I'm not going to do every single team that you guys want, but I'm going to try and do ones that, you know, will entertain you guys and bring you guys to um, continue to watch. That's how I'm trying to put it. But as far as conference play, um, I'm not overly concerned uh, yet. Then again, there's been a lot of close games so far. Um, you know, Georgia Southern's no pushover either. Uh, they do have a really good option offense that's got three good running backs so and a quarterback that can run too and that quarterback happens to play running back in the NFL right now uh, Jarek McKinnon so it's gonna be a tough matchup for us today as far as stopping the run but you know as far as you know having the run game go our way I mean we haven't had many problems you know starting the run game up we have three good players that can run the ball themselves uh, you take a look at Kyle Maxwell jo uh, James Morgan and uh, Kenny Smith and, you know, the, all three of those guys, they can run the ball like mad. You take a look at the top 25, though. There's a lot of good teams in there. Obviously, the schedules are a little bit different from what the original schedules were. But that's because I changed conferences for teams and everything else like that. So, yeah, everything's going to be a little bit different. You see Iowa, num uh, number 18 at 6-0. and oh. um, Notre Dame and Michigan State dropped out. Uh, Arkansas State, we are one one away from possibly moving into the top 25, guys. So, we're doing pretty good so far. Um... But we uh, that could all change at the drop of a hat, so we just got to keep playing well. You see Iowa State is in there, too. You don't see Iowa State there that often. But, I mean, that's why you play the games, I guess. Take a look at the conference standings. The conference standings are huge. We are 1-0 in the conference. Um, UL Monroe, 3-1. Appalachian State, 3-1. You know, we got a lot of good teams here in the uh, Sun Belt Conference. Or it's, it, I, we all like to call it the Fun Belt. South Alabama, unfortunately, is 0-5. 0-2 in the conference. Uh, but you know anything can happen. It's college football. You got to play every any given Saturday, right? But we're gonna get ready for this game against Georgia Southern. It's gonna be a good one. I will see you on the field. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arkansas State's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. They're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. And we are here in Georgia Southern at Paulson Stadium. Actually, it's technically the guy who made this. I don't know who actually made this team builder. But they located at Info uh, Decision Stadium where Akron plays. 
So that's like the closest they could get, I guess. I mean, it's still a good build for this team builder. But look at Kyle Maxwell on the kickoff to the 30, 40, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He could go all the way. Touchdown on the opening kickoff. 103 yards. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out to an early, early 7-0 lead. Just like that. Here comes Georgia Southern and their option attack. Here comes Jarek McKinnon. Has some room down the field. And I'm surprised he took it back towards the middle of the field. Because if he would have taken it more outside, he may have gotten more yards. But, hey, as it is, he gets a first down regardless. So it's not really any good situation for me anyway. They do get a pass off here to Johnson uh, for a first down. XXX Johnson. I don't know what his first name is. He doesn't have a first name. The the nameless wide receiver. His last name is Johnson. But, anyway, they get this one off to Showers. And Contrellis Showers for a 30-yard gain and a first down. Jarek McKinnon, 40 yards passing here in this first drive. Third and 14 after a couple of losses. Here's Jarek McKinnon getting that line set up. Dropping back to pass. Looks underneath to Johnson. And he gets six yards, but not enough for the first down. As that is going to bring on the field goal unit. This one, pretty cheap shot-ish. That's good. And it's now 7-3. I like the start so far. But now, it's going to be a little bit of a bit of a problem. You see Kyle Maxwell taking this one outside. Gets the juke move. Gets the first down, but he is not getting up. He is hurt for the rest of the game. But have no fear. James Morgan is here. He's going to take this read option up the gut. Gets this first down. And, you know, we have, like I said, we have three good players that can run the football. Just because Kyle Maxwell goes down doesn't mean anything. We have James Morgan, too, and that, that's what makes it so special. You see, we're going deep, and it's going to be incomplete. On third and 15, we had to go deep and trying to get something to get the first down. But as it stands, we have to punt the football. So five seconds left here in the first. They're going to give it off to McKinnon. Or McKinnon's going to keep it himself. He's going to get some room to run. Has breaking a couple of tackles, and he's down to the 44-yard line after a 25-yard pickup. But later on, it's third and 17. We're sending some outside blitz uh, corners here. So McKinnon dropping back. Throws left side, and it's going to be caught. Uh, what? Let's take another look at that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He didn't even get that one foot in. That was out. You need one foot in college, but it, that tippy toe is out. So they're going to give that right back to us. Thank God that happened because, man, I was not agreeing with that call at all. I would have thrown the challenge flag, flag if it wasn't for the uh, automatic reviewing. But anyway, first down for us right there on that play. Second and inches. Handed it off to James Morgan again. Up the gut he goes. And down for a first down. Nine yard pickup. We're nearing the 35 yard line. And we're nearing field goal range too. So we need that. Third down and one here. Three and a half minutes ago. Handed it off to Dean. Look at him go. He's the third string running back. Brian Dean up the gut. First down. I like it. So third down and nine. Let's see if we can keep this drive alive and get another touchdown. Smith dropping back. Gets it underneath the Lorenzo Harrison on the right side. First down. Down the field actually. But 13-yard pickup, and it moves the chain. So later on, second and goal. Just over two minutes to go here, and Morgan bounces it to the outside and gets the touchdown. It's now 14-3. I like it. You know, just because, you know, Kyle Maxwell's out doesn't mean anything. At least Kyle Maxwell got a touchdown on the, in this game, you know, on the opening kickoff, wink, wink. But we get another uh, miscue right there. We broke down the defense a little bit, and um, they got the first down because of it. So... We got to put pressure on McKinnon, otherwise he's gonna run all over us all game, and we don't want that. So first and ten, McKinnon looking over to Bryant, and Bryant gets the first down. Jonathan Bryant doing pretty good as well. Third down and nine, of 117 left here to go in the first half. McKinnon dropping back, trying to get pressure on him, but he's got all the time in the world, and he gets it off to Showers for a first down. Now first and ten, 105 left here in the first half. And McKinnon dropping back again, looking underneath. Bryant breaks a tackle, and he gets absolutely hammered. And that's another first down. So McKinnon, 6 of 8 so far. One minute to go now. Very next play, McKinnon dropping back. He's going to take off running. He's going to get, well, the, the linebacker misses tackle. And they get another first down. So McKinnon dropping back on third and 12. And he's going to get sacked this time. Uh, he's, he can only get away with so much for so long. So we're lucky for that. So fourth and 17 here. Ellison with the hold. The kick is up. And it's good. So 14-6 with 25 seconds to go. We're going to try and go for it regardless because I feel like we could extend this lead just a little bit. But here's Smith dropping back. Throws it deep downfield. And in behind the defense is Mike Clark. And no one's catching him. Touchdown, Arkansas State. 
21 to 6 on the ensuing kickoff. This is going to get even more crazy. Let's see what happens. They got the ball two yards deep. It's Martin. Martin out to the 15 to the 20, and he gets the ball off his hands. He fumbles the football, and we recover. So now the field goal up from Weber, and it's good. 24 to 6 at halftime. What? is life first and ten for uh, Georgia State or Georgia Southern here uh, they get another uh, play right here for first down for Jarek McKinnon on the ground he has been lighting it up all day you know I, I have no true plans to stop this defense like it's just sending the blitz and sometimes they get holes in that defense that just they're patient runners and yeah they've done pretty well moving the ball but they just haven't our defense hasn't broke. That's the whole thing. We, we've given up a couple of field goals, but, you know, look at that right there. Jarek McKinnon, that's where the defense breaks, and that's our first touchdown of the game. It's now 24-13. to 13. No big deal, right? It's only – we're still up two scores. No big deal. So we're going to hand the football off to James Morgan. James Morgan getting some room to run. Look at him go. First down on that play. Look at that. That's beautiful. And, man, he's been, all, he's been good all game long. Later on, third and two, we're going to run the football straight up the middle with James Morgan, and he cannot – oh, he got it. He gave, they gave it to him. Okay, we'll, we'll take it. Okay, okay, we'll take it. So third down and three here. Smith dropping back, scrambling almost immediately. He could have thrown it off to Lorenzo Harrison, but we're going to play the safe way and get it 15 yards with Kenny Smith with his legs. I'm, I'm liking it. Second and seven. Counter play to Morgan. Morgan bounces it to the outside. Makes a guy, well, almost miss, but he does get another first down. I'll take it. 17 carries, 78 yards. Hey, that's a great day at the office for a backup running back. Third down and nine. Smith has some time scrambling to his right, trying to find somebody open, but he can't, and he can't have much running room anyway, and he fumbles the ball, but we do recover. So we're going to kick the field goal here, and it's now going to be 27-13. So now back up to a 14-point lead. Still a two-score game, but at least if we give up two scores like that, it's going to be a tie game. So we'll be, we'll ha we're happy with that. So they give this one off to Jonathan Bryant, and Bryant's got room to run down the field. Look at that. Big gain, 31 yards. Second down and one here for Georgia Southern with 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. McKinnon dropping back. Quick strike to Johnson, and Johnson with a 12-yard pickup and another first down. And three catches, 28 yards for him so far on the day. Second down and 12. This is going to be the last play of the third quarter. McKinnon taking off, and he's got some room to run. Oh, he is oh not gone just yet. But a 14-yard pickup, and Georgia Southern's offense has been picking it up here in this second half. As we begin the fourth quarter, second and goal. McKinnon handed off to Swope. Dominic Swope in for the touchdown. Now 27 to 20. Third down and four here. Now we're in a little bit of a problematic situation here. We gotta just get a first down here. We get this oh completion. Awkward completion. First down. 11 yards. But hey, they, they, they all count the same. Second down and 10. Smith looking for that screen pass off to James Morgan. Has some room to run. First down and a lot more. Down to the 43, 42 yard line, 22 yard pickup. And that's his second catch of the day for 18 yards. First and 10, though. Smith, play action. Has some time, throws deep downfield, and it's intercepted by Williams. Not a smart play right there as we end up turning the ball over. And here's Georgia Southern coming right back to try and tie this football game up. We didn't want this at all. So we got to try and make a stop here. They're, they're doing really good with their option plays this time, though. They got some room to run, and they're just tearing us apart in the run defense department. So we got we to gotta do something here to make the pain go away. Make the pain just leave the pain and just let us get a victory here. You know, they're, they're just doing that, and it's just like, oh, my God, I cannot do anything to stop this deep or their, their rushing attack. They're pulling off 20, 30-yard runs at a time, and I'm just like, oh, my God, what am I – what do I got to do? So McKinnon, another one, another triple option play, and they get another touchdown. Tie game. Just like that. Hey, that's what, that's, that's what happens when you play the game, man. So Lorenzo Harrison, 11-yard pickup, first down. You know what? We got we got just move the ball down the field and just just play it safe, but also be um, 
smart with our play calling, you know. We don't want to waste too much time, but we also have to, you know, have a little urgency because we have we have full control. We have three timeouts with a minute to go. I, I'm feeling all right with this. So, St. Uh, Micah Holmes with a 13-yard catch right there, and we do call our first timeout right there. We're in field goal range with 15 seconds to go here with two timeouts. Handed it off to James Morgan, and that's going to be a loss of two yards. But with five seconds to go as the time is ticking away, kick is up, and it's good. And Arkansas State wins the final play of the game as Kyle Maxwell, player of the game. Even though he didn't play most of the game, he got it on a kickoff return for a touchdown. But we do win the game. We're 5-0, and and that feels amazing. Kyle Maxwell... That kickoff return made the difference in the beginning of the game, believe it or not. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. Like I said in the beginning of the video, you guys are the, the pushing force for my channel. So anything, I, it, all your support it really tells me, you know, what I can do on my channel and what you guys like and what, you know, I can present to you guys more. You guys seem to like this a lot, and I'm going to keep on giving it to you. So until then... We're almost to 9,000 subscribers, too, so, hey, hit that subscribe button, too. We hope to hit it by the end of the month. Until then, my name is Sin with Ventures. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out.